In this tutorial today, we're going to look at a neat Mac app called Monosnap. Um, now, we're going to look at this for the Mac. There is also a Windows version. I do have a video for that one. If you check out my YouTube channel, uh, you can also see the Windows one or go to my website, cowan.rocks, and you'll find the tutorial for that one. But today, let's focus on the Mac one. Now, it's easy to download. Uh, when you come here, if you're on your Mac, it's going to automatically know that. And you can click right here to download Monosnap. That's going to open up the App Store, which you can then uh, install it and just follow the directions. Now, I just want to show you what this does. So what Monosnap is, is a better way to do screenshots. And you can kind of mark things up and do a little um, more fanciness to it. So let's try this on a website. So maybe I want students to come here, and I want them to try a couple different games. So what Monosnap does, it comes up here, it launches. Uh, now you can change it so that you can have quick keys, uh, just like how you kind of do the like Command Shift 4 for a capture area. Uh, you can also do the same thing here. But let me just pick one, I'm gonna say Capture Area. I'll drag where I want it to take a screenshot. And I'll let go. And once I let go, it brings this up so that I can mark different stuff on here. So maybe, for example, I can draw a little rectangle on my screenshot. And then I can add a little text area. Students, please go to, now let's say, nasa.gov slash kids club. So students can now see where they're supposed to go. I can also put other things on here. So maybe I say games to try. And I could tell kids, maybe they're supposed to go to Rocket Builder. Um, let's say roving, oops, roving on Mars. And how about Clubhouse? So I can put little text boxes on here. I can drag these around so students can kind of see that. I can draw other arrows. So maybe I'm kind of telling kids, okay, there's Rocket Builder. And then these ones, you need to scroll down on the page. So I'm able to draw these little arrows. And there's other tools in here that you can also use. Uh, you can do like little lines. So maybe I kind of pick a different line color here so the students see what the main part of the website is. So not only can I take a screenshot, but then I can mark it up to elaborate more on what I want students or someone else to do. Now, once I'm happy with it, I can hit save. By default, what it wants to do is save into this mono snap folder, which is located in your pictures. Uh, you can pick it to go somewhere else if you want, um, but otherwise, you know, it's a pretty good spot and it's not gonna clutter up my desktop. So I can hit save, and now that image is saved successfully. So what that looks like, oh, you can see here's a bunch of different junk in where it kind of just recently saved. So if I go to my pictures, and I go to Mono Snap. Here is that screenshot I just took. So a lot more than just doing a simple screenshot, I can actually mark it up to help people understand what I'm trying to explain to them. So thanks for watching this little tutorial on Mono Snap, and I hope you enjoy it.